Hey, this is John Gallant. In this video, I'm going to give you a two minute introduction to the Azure IoT Edge Dev Tool. A link to the nine minute full length introduction with more details can be found in the description. The full README can be found at aka.ms slash IoT Edge Dev. First thing you need to do is create an Azure IoT Hub, an Azure IoT Hub Edge device, and an Azure Container Registry. Then set up your machine with Docker, Python, and .NET Core SDK. Let's install the Edge Dev Tool PIP package with pip install Azure IoT Edge Dev Tool. Let's create an Edge Dev project with IoT Edge Dev project dash dash create John G Edge 2. Let's navigate to that new directory and open VS Code. Let's rename our .env.tmp to .env and copy over our config settings for your IoT hub, your device, and your container registry. Let's build and deploy the modules to the Edge device with IoT Edge Dev modules build deploy. Let's set up and start the Edge runtime with IoT Edge Dev runtime setup start. Let's now view the module Docker logs with IoT Edge Dev Docker logs. That's going to open up a new console for every module in your project, as well as the system modules Edge Hub and Edge Agent. Now let's monitor messages coming from the Edge device to IoT Hub with IoT Hub Explorer monitor events. As you can see, messages are now flowing to IoT Hub. Let's create a new module called My Module using the Edge Module template. Let's add a custom property to the message as it flows through the system. Let's update config to include that module and add that module to our routes. Let's now build and deploy our modules again. You'll notice that it now picks up my module on its own. When you view the Edge Hub Docker log, you will see it automatically pulls my module. And when you view your messages, you will see the custom property that you just added. Now let's set up our project to serve the Edge runtime images from our own container registry with IoT Edge Dev Docker Setup Registry. That will pull the official Microsoft images from Docker Hub and push them to our own container registry and update our configuration files. Let's redeploy our configuration and restart our Edge runtime to pull in those config changes. Now when we view our Edge agent Docker log, we can see that the Edge Hub image is now being pulled from our own ACR. And that is the two minute intro to the Azure IoT Edge Dev tool. Please visit aka.ms slash IoT Edge Dev for more information.